Hello guys! Let's learn some of the most popular French expressions that any beginner can master. Whenever I say beginner, I mean A1 level students according to the international framework of reference. For those who don't know, the levels range from A1 to C2 and refer to specific vocabulary, grammar, pronunciation and fluency in general. So the expressions we'll cover today include only A1 level vocabulary, guys. Easy. I'm not teaching you random, old-fashioned or regional phrases. In this video, you will learn the most relevant and the most popular idioms that we use in France on a daily basis. If you don't know these expressions, you will struggle to understand native speakers on social media and in real-life conversations. Idioms are very valuable because they cannot be translated literally. So you can't guess their meaning. Their actual meaning is different from their literal meaning. For example, when you hear it's raining cats and dogs, you know that animals aren't actually falling from the sky, right? But you need to know that idiom. You need to know it to understand. Or when someone tells you break a leg, you know it means good luck. You know the person doesn't want you to break your leg, right? If you know the idiom, if you don't know, well, so every language is full of idioms, guys. And idioms reflect the culture of native speakers. So let's learn the most popular idioms we use in France every single day. Yeah! You can download the full list in one PDF with audio using this QR code here or from the link below the video. Now let's get started. To keep you active, guys, I will first ask you for the words that make up each idiom we learn. And then I will give you the idiom and its actual meaning. Okay? Let's start. Those who learn French with a teacher in the French Institute, Alliance Francaise, or any language school, you might already know this sentence, guys. How do we say in French, turn the page? How do we say it? Turn the page. Do you know? We say, tourner la page. Tourner la page. And this is our first idiom, guys. This idiom is used to describe the act of moving on from a difficult or unpleasant situation. For example, j'ai décidé de tourner la page et de commencer une nouvelle vie. J'ai décidé de tourner la page et de commencer une nouvelle vie. So, tourner la page. Do you know how we say to do or to make in French? And how do we say had? If you know these two words, guys, you know the next idiom. Faire la tête. Faire la tête literally to make the head. This idiom is used to describe someone who is sulking, showing their bad mood visibly. So the English equivalent of it is to sulk or to pout. For example, ma fille fait la tête parce qu'elle veut une glace. Ma fille fait la tête parce qu'elle veut une glace. Our next idiom, guys, requires few words from you. Very easy. Every beginner knows how to ask and say time in French, right? So, how do we say midday and how do we say at 2 p.m. in French? If you know that, you know the idiom. And the verb you need is to look for, to search. Chercher, right? Our next idiom, guys, is chercher midi à 14h. Literally, to look for noon at 2 p.m. It means to make something unnecessarily complicated, to make things difficult. So, you can say, arrête de chercher midi à 14h. Arrête de chercher midi à 14h. Next one, guys. How do we say to have? And how do we say peach in French? Avoir la pêche. Also, avoir la patate. Literally, to have the peach or to have the potato. So, this idiom means to feel great or to be full of energy. You can say, aujourd'hui, j'ai la pêche. Aujourd'hui, j'ai la pêche. Or you can say, après mon café, j'ai toujours la pêche. Après mon café du matin, j'ai toujours la pêche. Next one is still about avoir, to have, and banana. Avoir la banane. Avoir la banane is literally translated like to have the banana. But this idiom is used to describe someone who is happy or in high spirits and he is smiling. Elle a la banane depuis qu'elle a reçu la bonne nouvelle. Et tu as la banane aujourd'hui? Tu as la banane aujourd'hui? Qu'est-ce qui se passe? The next one is really funny. I love it. I think it's one of my favorites, guys. So you still need the verb avoir to have. And so how do we say socks in French? Do you know, guys? We are in A1 beginner level vocabulary, guys. Socks, how do we say? We say les chaussettes. 
So the next idiom is avoir le moral dans les chaussettes. Avoir le moral dans les chaussettes. This idiom literally means to have the moral in the socks. I think you can guess that it's used to describe someone feeling very sad or depressed. So the English equivalent is to be down in the dumps. Je sais pas ce que j'ai, j'ai le moral dans les chaussettes. Je sais pas ce que j'ai, j'ai le moral dans les chaussettes. Next one, guys, is nice. You need two words. The verb to take and the fruit melon. Prendre le melon. Literally to take the melon. This phrase means to become overly proud or arrogant. So in English, you would say to get a big head, right? For example, depuis qu'il a gagné, il prend le melon. Depuis qu'il a gagné, il prend le melon. Next one, guys, you need the verb to make or to do and also cheese in French or dish. En faire tout un plat ou en faire tout un fromage. This translates to make a whole dish or a whole cheese, literally. So it means to make a big deal out of something unimportant. En faire tout un plat ou en faire tout un fromage. For example, pourquoi en faire tout un plat pour une petite erreur? Elle en fait toujours tout un fromage. Elle en fait toujours tout un fromage. For our next idiom, guys, you need to know few body parts. It's very easy. Every beginner knows them. So you need to know how do we say eyes in French? And how do we say belly in French? And how do we say big in French? Okay, so les yeux, le ventre, gros, right? So our next idiom is avoir les yeux plus gros que le ventre, meaning to have eyes bigger than the stomach, than the belly. This idiom describes someone who overestimates their capacity, especially with food, guys. Usually we use it for food. So in English, you will say to bite off more than you can chew, right? Tu as souvent les yeux plus gros que le ventre. Tu as souvent les yeux plus gros que le ventre. Next one, guys, you need to know how do we say finger and how do we say arm and how do we say to give. The idiom is tu donnes un doigt, on te prend le bras, which is literally translated like you give a finger and they take your arm. So this idiom means that small concessions will lead to greater demands. The English equivalent is give an inch and they will take a mile, right? So in French, you can say, tu donnes un doigt, on te prend le bras. Which one is your favorite, guys, so far? Next one is easy. You need to know two beginner words. How do we say tongue in French? And how do we say cat in French? Our next idiom is donner sa langue au chat. To give your tongue to the cat. So the English equivalent is cat got your tongue. For instance, you can say, je ne sais pas. Je donne ma langue au chat. For the next idiom, guys, you need to know how do we say cold and how do we say eyes. You know eyes and also to have. So the idiom is ne pas avoir froid aux yeux. Hmm. Ne pas avoir froid aux yeux. So literally, it means to not have cold in the eyes. I love this one. So this idiom describes someone who is very brave and daring. The English equivalent would be to be fearless. This is my favorite, really. Ne pas avoir froid aux yeux. We use it all the time, guys. Elle n'a pas froid aux yeux. Elle a escaladé la montagne. Elle n'a pas froid aux yeux. Elle a escaladé la montagne. You can also say, il ne faut pas avoir froid aux yeux pour faire ce travail. You can also say to someone who is like showing bravery, t'as pas froid aux yeux. For the next idiom, guys, you need to know how to say sky in French. How do we say sky? And how do we say sevens? Sevens. And the verb to be, which every beginner knows. So the idiom is être au septième ciel. Être au septième ciel. Literally, to be in the seventh sky. I think you guessed that this means to be extremely happy. And the English equivalent is to be in seventh heaven. Okay? Être au septième ciel. Elle était au septième ciel après avoir reçu son diplôme. Next one, guys. You need to know how do we say underwater. Être sous l'eau. 
literally to be underwater. This idiom describes someone who is overwhelmed with work or stress. So the English equivalent is to be overwhelmed. In French, we say, je suis sous l'eau. Je suis sous l'eau means I'm very busy. I'm overwhelmed. You can say, je suis sous l'eau avec tous ces projets. Je suis sous l'eau avec ce projet. En ce moment, je suis sous l'eau au travail. En ce moment, je suis sous l'eau au travail. Next one is funny and nice. You need to know how to say to cost in French. How do we say to cost? And how do we say, again, the arm? How do we say the eyes? And how do we say the head? Once again, guys, beginner vocabulary. The idiom is ça coûte un bras. Ça coûte un bras. Or also another idiom with the same meaning is ça coûte les yeux de la tête. So ça coûte un bras or ça coûte les yeux de la tête. So literally, this translates to it costs an arm or it costs the eyes of the head. I think you guessed, right? It means it's very expensive. So the English equivalent is to cost an arm and a leg. In French, it costs an arm or it costs the eyes of the head. You can say ce sac coûte un bras. Ce sac coûte un bras. You can say, cette voiture coûte les yeux de la tête. Cette voiture coûte les yeux de la tête. Also, oh, and another one, which is nice. We say, ça coûte bonbon also. Ça coûte bonbon. It costs candy. So this idiom has the same meaning. It's very expensive. Ça coûte bonbon. It costs a fortune, okay? Or it costs an arm and a leg. You can say, ce voyage en Europe coûte bonbon. Ce voyage en Europe coûte bonbon. So, ça coûte un bras, ça coûte les yeux de la tête, ça coûte bonbon. For the next one, guys, you need to remember how we say hand and green. Avoir la main verte, to have a green hand. This idiom means to be good at gardening. So, the English equivalent is to have a green thumb, right? Moi, j'ai pas la main verte, guys. I wish, I tried. J'ai pas la main verte. Toutes mes plantes meurent. Next one is very nice, very popular. And you only need to know how to say to tell in French and how to say salad in French. Raconter des salades. So literally it means to tell salads. I think you guessed what it means, right? It means to tell lies or exaggerated stories. You can say, ne l'écoute pas, il raconte des salades. You can also say to someone, Arrête de raconter des salades. Arrête de raconter des salades. You can also say, Elle raconte toujours des salades. Elle raconte toujours des salades. Next one, guys, you need to know how do we say to fall in French and how do we say apples? Because the idiom is tomber dans les pommes. To fall in the apples. And this idiom means to faint. Tomber dans les pommes, to faint. You can say, il fait chaud, je vais tomber dans les pommes. Il fait chaud, je vais tomber dans les pommes. For the next idiom, guys, you need some body parts again. So how do we say heart and how do we say hand again? The idiom is avoir le cœur sur la main, literally to have the heart on the hand. This phrase means to be very kind and generous. Avoir le cœur sur la main. You can say about someone. Elle a le cœur sur la main. Elle aide tout le monde. Elle a le cœur sur la main. Elle aide tout le monde. Next one is very, very funny. So you need to know how do we say to take in French, how do we say legs in French, and how do we say neck in French. The idiom is prendre ses jambes à son cou. Prendre ses jambes à son cou. Literally to take your legs to your neck. It means to run away very fast. You can say, Quand j'ai vu le chien, j'ai pris mes jambes à mon cou. Quand j'ai vu le chien, j'ai pris mes jambes à mon cou. Quand elle a entendu le bruit, elle a pris ses jambes à son cou. Next one, guys, we need to know how to say cat again and how to say throat in French. Avoir un chat dans la gorge. To have a cat in the throat. Avoir un chat dans la gorge. This idiom describes someone with a hoarse voice or difficulty speaking. 
So the English equivalent is to have a frog in one's throat, right? So you can say, j'ai un chat dans la gorge ce matin. J'ai un chat dans la gorge ce matin. J'ai un chat dans la gorge ce matin. So you have a cat in your throat, guys, in French. Next one is my favorite. So very much used. You need to know how do we say West in French. The idiom is être à l'ouest, but you can also say être dans la lune, être à l'ouest, être dans la lune. So this translates to be in the west or to be in the moon. When you are dans la lune or when you are à l'ouest, you don't pay attention. So to be spaced out, to be daydreaming, you can say il est à l'ouest aujourd'hui, il n'écoute rien. Il est à l'ouest aujourd'hui, il n'écoute rien. Elle est souvent dans la lune pendant les réunions. Elle est souvent dans la lune pendant les réunions. Next one is very funny, guys. How do we say to bring and how do we say strawberry in French? Ramener sa fraise. Literally, to bring your strawberry. This idiom means to show up or get involved without being asked. I think it's funny. I love this one. The English equivalent is to butt in, to show up uninvited. For example, il ramène toujours sa fraise dans nos conversations. Il ramène toujours sa fraise dans nos conversations. For the next one, guys, you need the verb to lose and you need the word foot because the idiom is perdre pied. Perdre pied. So, literally, to lose your foot. We use this idiom to describe someone who is losing control or becoming overwhelmed. The English equivalent is to lose one's footing or to be overwhelmed. For example, you can say, je commence à perdre pied avec tout ce travail. Je commence à perdre pied avec tout ce travail. For the next one, guys, you need to know how do we say fish in French and water. But what do you know already, right? The idiom is comme un poisson dans l'eau. Literally, like a fish in water. Comme un poisson dans l'eau. This idiom describes someone who feels very comfortable and at ease in a particular situation. So you can say, il est comme un poisson dans l'eau quand il joue au foot. Il est comme un poisson dans l'eau quand il joue au foot. Next one, guys, you need to know how do we say to call in French. And cat, once again. Appeler un chat, un chat. Literally, to call a cat, a cat. This idiom is used to describe someone who speaks frankly and calls things by their proper names. So the English equivalent is to call a spade a spade, right? So you can say, il faut appeler un chat un chat et dire la vérité. Il faut appeler un chat un chat et dire la vérité. Elle n'a pas peur d'appeler un chat un chat. Elle n'a pas peur d'appeler un chat un chat. For the next one, guys, you need to know how we say onions in French. The idiom is c'est pas tes oignons. C'est pas tes oignons literally means it's not your onions. And this idiom is used to tell someone that something is none of their business. C'est pas tes oignons. C'est pas tes oignons ce que je fais. C'est pas tes oignons ce que je fais. You can also say pourquoi tu demandes? C'est pas tes oignons. C'est pas tes oignons. Next one, guys, is like in English. You need to know how to say a cup of tea. I think you already guessed, right? We say, ce n'est pas ma tasse de thé. Ce n'est pas ma tasse de thé. Literally, it's not my cup of tea. So, like in English, this idiom is used to express that something is not to your liking or your interest, right? So, you can say, les films d'amour, ce n'est pas ma tasse de thé. Les films romantiques, ce n'est pas ma tasse de thé. La cuisine épicée, ce n'est pas ma tasse de thé. La cuisine épicée, ce n'est pas ma tasse de thé. For the next one, guys, you need to know how we say to stop in French and how do we say cinema in French? Because our next idiom is arrêter son cinéma. Arrête ton cinéma. Literally meaning stop your cinema. And this idiom is used to tell someone to stop pretending or exaggerating. The English equivalent is cut the act or stop putting on a show. Arrête ton cinéma. Je sais que tu fais semblant. Arrête ton cinéma, je sais que tu fais semblant. Arrête ton cinéma. Next one, guys, 
is very nice. You need to know how do we say cow in French. The idiom is au la vache, literally au oh, the cow. This idiom is used as an exclamation to express surprise, shock or amazement. You can say au oh, la vache. The English equivalent is oh my gosh, oh my goodness. You can also just simply say la vache. Oh, la vache, c'est incroyable. For the next idiom, guys, we'll bring back the word foot in French. The idiom is c'est le pied, literally meaning it's the foot. This idiom is used to express great pleasure or enjoyment, c'est le pied. So the English equivalent is it's awesome, it's fantastic, c'est le pied. You can say passer la journée à la plage, c'est le pied. Passer la journée à la plage, c'est le pied. For the next idiom, guys, you need to know how we say flower and how we say blue in French. The idiom is fleur bleue, literally blue flower. And this idiom is used to describe someone who is sentimental or overly romantic. Fleur bleue. So the English equivalent is hopeless romantic or sentimental. Fleur bleue. Blue flower in French. You can say about someone, elle est vraiment fleur bleue. Elle est vraiment fleur bleue. Or you can say, je suis pas très fleur bleue. Je suis pas fleur bleue. Je suis pas fleur bleue. Next one. How do we say night in French? And how do we say white in French? The idiom is faire une nuit blanche. This idiom is used to describe staying awake all night, usually because of work or studying or entertainment also. So, faire une nuit blanche. So in English, you will say to pull an all-nighter, right? If you have an exam, you will do une nuit blanche. J'ai fait une nuit blanche à cause de mon exam. J'ai fait une nuit blanche à cause de mon exam. You can download the full list of today's idioms, guys, from the QR code here or from the link below this video. Let's take a little quiz to see if you remember them. 10 questions. Take the quiz and write your score in the comments, guys. Which one you like, guys? Which is your favorite? Write in the comments which one you will remember, which one you will use. In any case, download the PDF so you can check on them whenever you have time.